Hello YouTube, Adam here again. Um, I've been getting some work done on a b actual warship. It's gonna basically have a lot of light armor, a few critical areas have heavy armor, but it's gonna rely on shields uh, predominantly to protect them. I've been doing some experimenting with the shields on the base and I feel reasonably confident that we'll be able to put enough shields on here that it'll be worthwhile. A couple of these big uh, turrets, those are the Mark 1s I believe, and then a couple of uh, Mark 1 fixed guns, point defense lasers, but critically we are out of steel, we are out of gold, and we are out of silver. Now I know we can get a bunch of iron over there, but I think we're gonna, I'm gonna take a trip over there by myself and deal with that. But we're gonna have to take the venture back up into space because I have not found any good sources of uh, either silver or iron, and especially not in the quantities that I'm gonna need. I think there's a little bit over there, but we're gonna need tons, so we're gonna have to bring that bad boy up into space and get some stuff gathered because pretty much all the work is at a halt here. There's uh, floor being welded that I'm starting to work on the pit so there's places for these engines to blast and not burn the deck. If we have a look on the inside the batteries died on the ship so there's no power at the moment because this reactor is still pretty far away from being completed and then we also have uh, superconductors for the jump drive that we need and then like I said a lot of metal gonna need more superconductor components for all the lasers uh, got some hydrogen tanks going here. It's the same thing on the other side. And uh, this is going to be main engineering. It's kind of started. I put a vent in there for it to gather uh, stuff, to gather oxygen when we're on a planet so that we can fill up the oxygen tanks. Uh, but here we go. This is like an auxiliary control room. We're going to have our programming blocks for various things that need to be done, timer blocks, that sort of stuff, and our batteries. So obviously, um, there's still a lot of work left to go. It's going to take tons of steel because we're going to have to put in gyroscopes, finish putting on all this, uh, all the uh, the cladding. I had a big freeze there for a second. Something must have spawned in. I did add a couple more drone things, and every once in a while I'll be feeling something spawn in like that. But uh, a whole bunch more thrusters need to be completed, obviously, and so forth. So lots of material needed, and I'm going to get right into it. I'm just going to. Put on a podcast, I think, and, and head over and mine a whole heck of a lot of iron on my own there. So, uh, an annoying thing that's been happening, I don't know when this change happened, but all my ships undock when I load in. Only the large ships, but I don't really know why that is. The ships in the hangar bay don't do that. The small ships in the hangar bay, uh, it's only been happening... Yeah, that one's still docked too, so the small ships stay docked, but these big ones... Maybe it's because it's on a a piston? That could be it. I don't know. But it's it's kind of irritating. I wish it wouldn't happen. Oh yeah, I got this side of the wall is done now too. Uh, added a couple more solar panels, uh, a few more turrets, and all of that. So I should probably notch that corner just so it looks a little less squared off. But uh, yeah, this this side of the base is complete now. This whole entire side here got a lot of work to do down this side still because I want to add a couple more turrets and so forth and figure out exactly what we're going to be putting here but that stuff's all done so I'm going to go spend a decent amount of time I guess mining over there get our uh, iron reserves back up to fill this thing up it comes back with millions of iron ingots or minor iron ore rather so it should keep us going and then we'll head up into space probably do a cargo run with this as well, bring some stuff up to the space station it needs, and so forth. I don't that anymore because we got power on board here. Alright, a mining, I will go. Alright, so we finished drilling this hole, and something has appeared over there. Now, I'm debating, I think I'm just gonna leave this ship here, grab a fighter. I neglected to actually bring a fighter with me. I need to patch this up. I was working on some, uh, conveyor stuff in this but um let's actually before we go check how much iron we got with that one drill it was kind of halfway off the vein so we only got uh, 756 K but that should be good enough so I am going to head 
to somewhere where I can grab some cargo. We'll, we could do it here, but I'll grab it from out front. Uh, I want to grab a couple hydrogen, or yeah, I'll probably a couple hydrogen tanks to be safe. How far are we away? Four kilometers? Well, one hydrogen ought to be good enough. I don't really want to mess up my inventory here. I have a specific way I've been keeping this stuff. So, let's dump off those two hydrogens. And the point defense turrets are online here, so I believe they are, right? Yes, the point defense turrets are online. She should be good to go. I'm just going to fly back with my jetpack. Got to remember to park this. Well, the reason I haven't kept the fighter parked, I need a fighter that can operate in atmosphere and in space so I could just leave it on the spacecraft because I don't really like bringing the dead weight up into space with me. It's only like, I don't know, 500, uh, 50, I think it's like 50,000 pounds. Uh, kilograms or something like that so it's not like super heavy but still if it's gonna be useless in space I don't really like bring it plus I've been having weird problems with connectors disconnecting alright so I'm gonna grab a rifle I think right, that only opens for ships Let's grab us a rifle, a little bit of ammo, I should have everything else I need to check out whatever's going on with that freighter. And I believe I already restocked this, but I'm going to bring this one because it has the point defense on it, which I have not put on that one yet. I really should. And let's check this out. Rifle. like 10 mags that should be good enough I have that breaking down some uh, ammo because I have ludicrous quantities of it we need as much as we have so all right ready to go oh yeah I sell my bone rifle and did I not set up the timer block as a thing on this that's annoying one it is. Hangar. Those are all for the lift. Main. Open. Trigger now. Alright, so fly out that away and see what's up. That's the radar picking up, um, Pistons, I believe that's why it says there are four signals there. It picks up each sub grid. Wish it was light out. It's gonna make this a little more annoying. I didn't really want to wait until morning in case things go pear shaped on us with this. Hopefully, the thing is just uh inactive anyway doesn't have any weapons we just bring the reclaimer over to scrap it uh, let's look for those sentry guns I want to make sure they are on and only set to missiles their only job is to keep me from getting shot with a missile if a missile should decide to show up I haven't actually tested those in combat they seem like they'd be reasonably good at that They put afterburners on this thing. I mean, we're at maximum speed, but just for maneuverability's sake, it'd be kind of nice to give it a kick in the pants. And I do have a camera on here, so when we get a little bit closer, even though it's dark, I'm going to try to zoom in and see if I can see a little bit of detail on the thing just to see if there's any um, sort of a uh, weapon systems or anything. It is listed as red, so it means it has power. If 
probably stop at like two kilometers out or so. so it's good to know that the ships are spawning. I was kind of thinking things weren't spawning anymore, but they are. It's just outside of a fairly big radius of my base, so if we get out flying around, I don't know that this one actually can even detect that stuff because of its limited antenna range, but the, uh, the Venture had no problem detecting this. All right, let's have a look. Hard to tell. Doesn't look like there's much to this thing. And it is not shooting me. Why does this feel like a booby trap? I'm digging the lights on it. Oh, this is a fairly big, uh, it's got a lot of cargo on it, like a lot of cargo containers. Whether there's actually any cargo, I don't know. It's like a weird little, this kind of reminds me of like, on a Star Trek Enterprise, like the Fortunate and the Horizon, those kind of like YT, whatever, YJ, J class, that's what they were. YT is the Millennium Falcon. Uh, yeah, she looks like she's not armed. So they must be flying around here, and this one just couldn't, you know, it just has ion thrusters on it. it seems like it's totally functional. That's pretty neat. Can I check your cargo? No, I cannot. Well, Reclaimer's got a job to do, I guess. I wonder how heavy this thing is. Kind of nice to just pick it up. I know that thing's not going to be able to pick it up, but it's actually a fairly neat design. I wonder if it had a cockpit on it at some point. Definitely took a nosedive into the ground. Let's, uh,. See if any of these actually have it. It would be nice if some of these had silver and gold on them. Some steel plates. And yeah, it's it's got cargo. I don't know if it's got any ores on board or not, but I guess I'm gonna go grab the reclaimer and we'll break this thing down. Headed home here to park this thing and we'll pick up the reclaimer. I'm not gonna bring a fighter with me because, like I said, I'm kind of scared about flying. I need to actually go do some experimenting to see what's going on with the connectors on the small ships. The reclaimer, several times, has just kind of dumped off its, uh, its uh, cargo. I don't know why. So, leave this here for now. No! And uh, I'm just gonna grab the good old reclaimer. I believe the cargo is completely empty on it, hopefully. So we can actually see what we end up picking up from that thing. And are the guns offline? They are, good. I don't want it shooting when we arrive. Is this thing empty? Yep, just ammo and stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna slow boat my big old self over there. This thing's not fast, but it gets a job done. It's not meant to be fast, so see what we can actually recover from that. I wasn't expecting to get some stuff like that. I'm definitely hoping we can get some silver and gold at least, because that would solve some of my issues. <laughs> Alright, so it says we can stop in 514 meters, so at about 700 I'm going to 
let off the gas and see if that actually is true or not. Nope, it lied. Pull up the nose, get the big thrusters going here, though. Seems a little complicated to fly. It could definitely use a little bit more thrust, but there's really no way to put too much more thrust on it without making it a lot bigger than it is. Oh, God. Could kick on the hydrogens here for a second, I guess. Alright, let's not get going that fast again. I don't really know what that's basing that calculation off of, but it's coming nice and easy here. Also can't really see how far above the ground I am in the cockpit here in the on the bridge. Kind of an annoying feature. I could, I do have cameras set up, but I kind of wish you could have a display with the camera in one corner or something like that, so you can keep an eye on two things. Because when do you ever need to keep track of just one direction a spacecraft is going in, or any vehicle? It's always, you know, forward and up and down and side to side and all these things. So. Park kind of angled this way. Ground seems a little friendlier here. And the building repair system has a range of about 75 meters, so as long as we're close to this, it's not going to have too much trouble. Uh, the ship seemed a lot bigger before, and uh, the reclaimer is not even that big of a ship, but it's a lot bigger than my fighter is, I guess. Probably isn't going to be worth too much considering it's all going to be small ship parts and everything, but let's not land on top of it if we can. Alright, and feet are in contact, but I kind of like to level out so we're not at a crazy angle. I only need one foot touching. feet lock. There we go. And main engine's off. And what do I need to do? Yeah. Fire up the old building repair system. I think I have a button. Didn't I set up a button using a civilized way? I didn't hear the button click. There they go. Alright, so disassembly time. We'll just see what we end up getting out of all of this. We should start seeing the cargo container fill up at some point, although that's all going to the build and repair system right now. We start seeing the weight go up. Well, unfortunately, that thing didn't seem to have a whole lot of cargo on it. I've been putting everything in the cargo bay, and it's like, well, we've got a, a okay number of construction components and com interior plates not even that many steel plates it had some organic material on board whatever that is I know that was something that I think they were thinking about adding for like uh, farming or something but it never really got anywhere and it looks like all the major components of that have been stripped down now so oh well we'll probably get like 900 or so uh, steel plate by the time this is all done out of it. Every little bit counts and I was curious about what the ship was so I'm glad I came out and salvaged it. It'd be kind of nice if there was something else out here but nothing within range. I think those are just trees out there. I should fly on another scouting mission since we know there are other ships coming down though. I should take the scout out and check. I haven't been doing that lately because everything had kind of uh, slowed down in the salvage department but it does look like we're getting new ship designs and stuff down here. So anyway, I'm going to finish up this salvaging. 
All right, so we made two runs in the venture out to the ice field and picked up a whole bunch of iron. There's still iron on board. We need to transfer that out because we're going to head up to space. So where are we going to dump that cargo? And... Oh, we're not... The freaking... Every time I load in, it decides that the ships need to not be connected for whatever reason, so I have to go in here, reconnect. It's an annoying, I, I guess, feature? Maybe? Seems more like a bug, but what do I know? Didn't used to do that. This game is weird. I mean, I like that it's still in development but a lot of odd things happen because it's still in development meaning things just come and go and feature you know things that used to work break and it'll be kind of nice if it ever gets to a more stable state to be sure and let's grab some more of that ice so we can make some hydrogen on the way up and get out of here find places to put everything. There's like no room. I need more cargo, I, yet more cargo containers it would seem. We'll just put it, that's supposed to be for ammunition, but it's all going to get used up. Alright, so we should be able, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Disconnect. On the antenna. All my groups got messed up when I was uh, redesigning the ship and I haven't fixed them yet, so that'll be something to deal with. I don't think the react yeah, the reactor's not on. Are the gyros? Alright, should be good to go. Alright, so we already know this thing is space-worthy, so it should be a relatively straight thing to get up there again. I'm more or less just, I didn't set up my little... Hmm, that's annoying. I didn't set up my uh, thrust override either. Can we burn straight up? thrust. At least we'll be using fewer engines then. No, we don't. We do not have the thrust for that, so. Angling down. I'm trying to find the sweet spot where we can uh, not have to use so many engines, but I guess it's not going to be a thing. Need more gyros. I gotta find some place to put some more gyros in this thing. My goodness gracious. I don't know if this is more fuel efficient to like feather the throttle like this or not, but that's what we'll do. I know that it doesn't really matter if we go straight up, but somehow this launch profile kind of bugs me. I'm gonna make orbit super simply here, it looks like. Barely had any cargo on it. I thought about throwing some cargo on and making a stop at the space station, but I didn't really feel like stopping at the station again. Sounds like a hot air balloon. Turning off the dampers, dampeners. Pretty soon I should be able to angle up and have enough thrust, I would think.
start pointing at the station if we can here. I just see an enemy up here. What was that? I thought I saw radar contact. It'd be unlikely this deep in the atmosphere still, but... I'm just using the station as a, a fixed point that I know is straight up. It's a little easier for me. I shouldn't have put the ice on board. It'd be kind of nice to know exactly how much fuel we used getting up here. Kind of cheat with the ice. Not cheating, because obviously we carry ice, but it doesn't give me the true tale of how much fuel we used. And when we get to point 10, we should be able to just kick on the ions and go from there. Come on, ship. Why are we drifting so much here? It's kind of fidgety. course is truly straight. Point two two, point two one. The last little bit of gravity just kind of keeps on going forever. The, the orbital mechanics in this game are very strange. I kind of wish it had been designed in the first place to have a more realistic orbital models and stuff like that. Like, like if this was mixed with Kerbal Space Program in terms of fairly realistic orbital mechanics and stuff, it'd be a, a lot better. I know they probably didn't even intend to do planets when they started, and it was just something they figured out they could do, because I don't think they'd do this stuff the way that they did if they, if they were planning from the beginning to do that, but... Alright, so we are searching for silver and gold. We're super short, as in out of both, and we need a lot of superconductor components. We need a lot of um, shield components, that sort of stuff, to get the other ship done. I should have enough steel to go for a while, and it's easy enough to go out and get more iron from the ice field, but we're going to have to go on a magical space tour here. Let's kick on the ions, kick off those... Yeah, the ions are good enough now. Save our fuel. Now there's a whole bunch of asteroids that we pass by on the way out here. I don't know where they are exactly. Probably switch to the outside view so we can start getting a look. Where are the radars even on on this thing? I don't know if the radar dome is switched on or not. It's not. That way it'll be a little harder for any of the sneaky drones to sneak up on me. I do actually have a couple of extra drones turned on. Well, there's an asteroid. That's as good a place as any to go check first, I suppose. Although it might still be in the gravity field. Some of these low-level asteroids here are still sort of in gravity, although we can maneuver with ion here, so I guess it doesn't matter if it is. It's always a good idea to set your course a little wide of the asteroids so that if we can't stop, run into too much trouble, especially because this ship, even loaded as it is, is going to take a long time to stop. So I'm going to start slowing down. I can't tell how far away that asteroid actually is, so... It's best to assume it's not that far away. Especially because it's going to take two and a half minutes for us to stop. This thing definitely could use a few more thrusters. I could kick on the hydrogens in an emergency if I need to stop, but we're not in a hurry. I 
And we're at 0.5 gravity. The gravity's gonna... Yep, there she goes. We're in space. And... That means... I don't have a button for the gravity generator either. This thing has... Did I not replace the gravity generator? That would be something. I don't remember disassembling it. I must have. That's annoying. Let's turn on the shields. Well, that's very annoying. Are we really kicking through the... Oh, because the shields are charging. I was going to say, are we really kicking through all of our energy that quickly with that big reactor? The reactor is on, isn't it? It's not using fuel at a rate quick enough that you would think. It's only, it's like using 10 megawatts, that's weird. Okay, we're back up to like 3 days worth of fuel now. Okay, why are we not stopping? Oh, is there thrust override on, on those ion thrusters or something? Like, what is happening with that? Because if I... No? I don't know what's happening with that. The forward thrusters must not be on or something. I don't know. Why? Did I remove thrusters from here or something? I must have. I did make some changes before we came back up here. I guess we don't have any ions in that direction. That's a problem. I'm going to have to throw some of those on. Huh. I thought I did. I thought they were right there in the front. Oh, well. We'll have to make an adjustment to that at some point, too. I guess for now we'll just turn on the... Looks like, what is that? It's either ice or cobalt. I can never really tell. Alright, I feel like we should be in scanning range here, scanner. scanning. I guess it's farther away than it seems. Nickel. It's a pretty big asteroid. Definitely don't need any iron. Of course, we're coming around the dark side here. Alright, let's see some other stuff on there. What is it? I did not want to get out. Iron, uranium... Suck, asteroid. Silicon. It's got nothing for us. Alright, well, where is there another asteroid? Dead ahead. So I'm just going to keep searching for a little bit. If anything crazy happens, like we come into attack or something... I will return when that happens, so see you in a bit.
We got a drone of some sort closing in. Totally not a trap drone. I'm sure that's true. Are these all online? Let's check to make sure they're actually targeting things correctly before we get into a fight. Okay, like we have small, large target stations. And then this should really only be targeting... Should really only be targeting missiles, but we'll leave it on small ships. Well, no, we'll just leave it on missiles. The point defense will just handle any incoming missiles. Alright, this is not a warship, but... We can get in a small fight, I suppose. Hopefully this actually will be a small fight. I haven't dealt with any of these corrupted drones. So this will be new. It's more than just a pirate. And again, we're definitely not a warship, so... I don't have great turret coverage, but I think these turrets are fairly powerful, and... It would be good to know, even in our half-functional state, how good these shields actually are. We'll come in at like 20 meters per second or so. Maybe 30. Now, build and repair system would probably be a good thing to have online right now. Not only so we can scrap these guys, but so that we can actually repair any battle damage that occurs. I don't really need platinum. I hope he really does have some. I doubt it. He's being very uh, obvious in his trappiness. I didn't fall for anything, dude. Is he running away now? Uh-oh. The game lag, that usually means stuff spawning in. Is he calling for buddies or something? Alright, we're not catching up with him. He's gonna end up going max speed, so... I guess you get away, Mr. Drone. Not real sure what the point of that was. Oh, something spawned in. Is he coming towards us? I do wish the camera was a little better in this, in terms of angles that I could choose from. Alright, let's present a good firing arc here, I guess. Are you, are you really not going to close in anymore other than that? That seems ridiculous. Oh god. Yeah, this ship's not super maneuverable, so... It seems like the point defense works pretty well, though. I'm happy about that. So seems like we landed a couple good hits in on Mr. Swift drone here. See, the thing that's going to suck is if we actually disable the drone, he's going to just take off at a speed I can't possibly uh, compete with here. Is he making a pass? Or is he stopped? Now he's making a pass.
He's kind of toying with me, it feels like. Being extremely annoying. Alright, open up. He's just gonna keep staying out of range here. This kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. Where's my asteroid that I was at? Might as well just return to my work here. Let him chase me across the universe if he wants, I suppose. Might have used up all my ice because we're at 99% now. No, it just took a minute to recharge. That drone's going to be super annoying, apparently. He's just going to keep following. Weird. God, I need more gyroscopes. We don't even have like a load of cargo right now. Tis bad news. Alright, I'm coming around facing that asteroid. There's an asteroid dead ahead. That'll do. Is that drone stuck? No, he's still two kilometers behind us. Come on, settle down. If I get the ship swinging too much, it takes so long to get the, uh, the movement under control there. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so we're just going to hit, like, 33. Give him a chance to chase. A hive ship? I definitely don't want to deal with that. Oh, some of those got through. Shields are failing. What are you doing, point defense? Okay, point defense is doing better. I have no idea why I was just letting that guy sit there. Let's give him an old broadside here of sorts. I feel like that hive ship might be coming for me. That's not good either. You know, I should probably turn off my antenna. I had that on so that when I get outside of the ship, I can deal with stuff, but it feels like people are chasing. We cannot take on a hive ship. I've seen those. Those are big. All right, space may just be a little too hostile for me these days here. Did we take any actual physical damage? It does not look like it. Is that hive ship pursuing? Maybe. I really want to find an asteroid, damn it. I was at asteroids, why did I ever leave? I don't really want to lead these guys back towards my space station that's under construction because it's nowhere near ready to defend itself. Alright, asteroid up above. not going to make a course correction until we're actually facing the right way. There we go. Hopefully the asteroid will give us a little bit of cover too. Alright, it seems like the hive ship is peeling off. I don't think it's following. The drone certainly is, but That might be the asteroid I was at earlier, I can't tell. Not the, the first one, but the one that I left from to go deal with checking out this drone. Alright, 
so I'm definitely gonna run. I don't know how far away from the hive ship we have to get, but that thing is fairly big. We're definitely not in a position to fight anything. The ship was not meant for that. It's meant to be able to with, with the, uh, you know, to repel a couple drones. And that's about it. I don't need that drone. The, uh, the big ship chasing us here. Let's see, point defense, dorsal aft, that ought to work. Let's just, or that's not a point defense, it's a regular turret. Can we see it? That's 10 kilometers away and it's still that big, so I'm feeling like that's not a good thing. But we are losing it. Is that an asteroid out there, or is that a star? That's a small asteroid, I think. I just want to mine in peace. It might have been a mistake to install this mod, because uh, I feel like it's a little too aggressive. A hive ship just seems kind of ridiculous. He's off of our radio contact so that might mean he's far enough away that he's gonna lose us the AI is kind of cheaty though it's our antenna Did I turn that off yeah leave that off go radio silent for a little bit here and I think we'll do head to this asteroid here and just see what's up with that and that seems far enough away that maybe the hive ship will have given up pursuit Might have been a mistake, like I said, to install that mod. I don't need this much challenge. This is just a humble mining ship. A couple drones and stuff add to the excitement, but capital ships, not so much. Should get him to chase me into the planet's atmosphere. I doubt that ship's meant to fly in, in a planet's atmosphere, and even if it was, the main base would be able to take it out but then I won't have my gold and platinum I mean my gold and silver if he keeps chasing me I might do that that's just that little swift drone that keeps harassing me all right nothing useful on that asteroid Where is there another? I feel like that big boy over there we might have already looked at, but it's kind of towards where we want to go in case we are getting pursued still, so. That guy's at one kilometer, he's gonna open fire again. In a minute here. Where is the asteroid? It's so hard to see. Come on, ship. Going in at an almost right angle will probably help too, because I don't know what their search pattern is if they do lose contact with us. Uh, going off in a random direction is probably helpful in case that guy does try to pursue. Oh, is that the... that's a cargo drone. Now a cargo drone, I feel like we could probably deal with. See what Mr. Cargo drones about here. Of course, even if we disable them, I'm not really in a very good position to uh, grapple with them because this thing's not very maneuverable. But we'll try to intercept them, see what it's all about. I want to 
reset my course a little. I'm trying to lead him so we meet somewhere, but... Shadow, is that just the asteroid? Yeah. Definitely see some iron and maybe some ice. Is that gold? I think there's gold on that one, so we're not going to get too far away from that one. In fact, let's give up the pursuit of the cargo drone. I think that's a bad idea. Let's just go for the... why this drone is so hell-bent on just... I mean, he's not really doing anything. Oh, God. Definitely have a patch of gold. Is there anything else useful on here? Mr. Swift drones back. Giving me all sorts of trouble. We chunk him. Took some hull damage. Or did we? Yeah, we did. Damn shields. Why well, I need my shield generators online. It's actually a fairly big drone. Oh, the high ship is pursuing. Damn it. Well, let's see if he'll chase us into the atmosphere, I guess. I'm going to swing around the far side of this asteroid on the way. Not going to have time to mine. I wish we hadn't run into that hive ship. He's just going to keep chasing us, I think, though. I don't have a jump drive. A jump drive might be in order. Alright, can we set a course for home without having to blast right by the hive ship? Come on, ship. is my home base marker. Is that it? Yeah, the hive ship's right in between us. So we're gonna try to swing around the outside here. If he wants to follow me into the atmosphere, he is welcome to it. I think I was better off with my uh, Vulcan turrets on this thing, to be perfectly honest. Is he going to get within weapons range here? I don't think so. Make a run for it. Still got that drone pursuing us too. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Just put my helmet on for safety's sake while we're sort of in combat here. The chances of a hull breach occurring are fairly high. Actually, they just got a lot lower. I 
kind of want him to stay with us. Come on, Mr. Hive Ship. Are you changing course or are you giving up? Beat him. Watch him actually be able to fly in the atmosphere. Of course, I don't have any of the defenses on back at the base, but I have a radio. We can radio ahead and tell them to turn them on. Hopefully we won't land that close. Hopefully it'll just be crash landing and it won't be a problem. The base has good shields too, so. Trying to hold my distance. Maybe we'll keep like a five kilometer distance here between us and the hive. Really wish we hadn't run into that guy first run out. I gotta leave my antenna off next time. Unless we actually need it to make radio contact with something. I don't know how much that would have helped in this case, but I feel like it would have. I'm hoping the AI is not smart enough to realize they can't fly in the atmosphere. I feel like I'm doing some like Captain Kirk maneuvering here. Unfortunately, we used a lot of fuel already on this run. 15%. But we didn't, unfortunately, we didn't get any cargo. So I guess that makes up for the lower amount of fuel on the return here. I'm also hoping that they, even if they do end up crashing, that they don't take a course that has them on a collision with me. Because I'm going to be braking. And they're hopefully not. Alright, we're 50 kilometers away here. Thereabouts from the planet. It feels like that corrupted hive is getting closer. I can't tell because it doesn't actually give me a, uh, a contact here. Somehow we drifted off the point here. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, he does feel like he's getting closer, doesn't he? something here. I don't know if that other drone is just locked to our speed or what. Alright, 50 kilometers exactly away now. Atmospheric effects will be kicking on relatively shortly. Some of the gravity will kick in. And hopefully he'll be committed to a non-recoverable course at that point kind of nice if we could just go salvage that thing. I don't know how much we'll survive the impact. So I guess in the future, stay away from those drones. I just wanted to see what it would do. The one that was uh, bragging about its platinum. I, I'm not sure if it only spawned in the swift drone or if it spawned in the swift drone and the hive ship. I kind of think it probably spawned in the hive ship too, since they're in the same faction. So next trip to space, we'll know not to do that. Unless we're in a warship and we want the fight. I didn't think any... I thought it'd be a couple of harmless little drones and we'd be able to just swat them away, but... The Swift drone alone is pretty huge. So... The only 
only thing I'm worried about at this point is how to get past these guys. It's, like, it feels like when I start breaking, the swift drone is going to impact. I think that guy's just going to go past us, the corrupt uh, hive ship. But it feels like the swift drone is going to collide. Because it's kind of what I'm thinking about doing is when we get into the... Uh, the real meaty part, like maybe when we get to about 50% gravity, hitting the brakes, stopping, because it should be enough into the atmosphere that their ion thrusters can't do anything, and I think they only have ion, I don't think they have hydrogen, so they should just at that point go past us harmlessly. Taking a long time to get back. I'm gonna edit this down because it's just been me like watching these guys pursuing. Alright, at about 40 we'll start having the gravity take effect again. And they're a few kilometers behind us. I suspect they're like five or so behind us. I can't really tell, but that's more or less how big their ship looks. The other problem is going to be, most likely, that Hive ship's still going to have all sorts of uh, weapons and stuff online when it crashes. Unless it's completely destroyed, which would be sad, because I want to actually examine it. But So we've entered the outer part of gravity. Are they going to stop, or are they going to pursue? Looks like they're pursuing. Let's slow it down just a little bit here. And actually get out of their way. So we are starting to accelerate towards maximum speed. I have no idea at what point they're not going to be able to recover. I'm betting on like Point ten is about where my thrusters kind of fail me, so... Just brake checking them. Did he give up? I can't tell. I kind of feel like the corrupted hive ship is getting farther away now. No, he's not. He, he's committed, I think, still. No, he might be moving off. I can't tell. Nope, he's not moving off. Why is my radar not actually putting on a, a lock for him? Active. Oh, God. That's a lot of stuff. How come he is radar impervious? All right, I feel like he's accelerating a lot more than we are now. I think we took him out for whatever good that will do. Now I gotta start paying attention to my own landing. You know what's going to suck is if I can't track where it crashes. That ship's got to be at least the same size as this one. But it's all armored and s armed and stuff. Alright, so he's going to just safely pass us. Cool. I think he's past the point of no return at this point. We're at point 10 gravity. So depending on the kind of thrusters he has, I think he's just kind of boned. We seem to be falling at exactly the same speed here. 
Yeah, he's falling at maximum speed. Probably the ship behind us is too. Cool. So let's start getting ourselves in line with gravity so we can hopefully not do some litho breaking like our good friends are going to. I have to keep an eye on our altitude, and I also want to keep an eye on our friendly ship over there, which I already lost. There he is. And he's going in like a lawn dart. That's not going to be good. I feel like he's going right into the mountains, too. I kind of want to thrust forward here so that we come down clear of those mountains. to stay with him. I'm going to enjoy when we actually hit the brakes because he's going to seem like he just peels off at ridiculous speeds here. Close to the base am I? I feel like I'm off target quite a bit here. Eighteen thousand meters. Oh, he's gonna be way off. I didn't aim him well enough. Is our drone friend still behind us, too? He's, like, right above us. That's going to suck. I really hope he doesn't collide with us. Well, there are definitely some big mountains that I do not want to collide with. Actually, we're at a reasonably good place, it looks like. Our altitude isn't too far off from uh, our absolute altitude. It's like 2,000 meters difference here. So I'm just going to give it a little love tap to see how quick we can actually slow down. Yeah, we'll stop in no time. We'll stop in no time. I can't really tell how high I actually am above this mountain. It's scary. 8,000... Seven thousand... Six. Five. Oh god, not what I wanted to do. I accidentally went into the settings for my uh, video again. If I'm holding Alt and I hit Z, it goes into the, the settings for my capture. Well, we'll at least know where the ground is, I guess. But our little friend finding that out for us. 4,000. Surprised he hasn't impacted yet. 28. No, I did it again. It's extremely annoying. All right. I think I just saw the impact happen. Maybe. Is that his debris there?
Goddamn drone. Now is not the time, Mr. Drone. Let him pass. My shields are failing, that's awesome. Awesome. Is anything still on live on there? I can't see the ground. It's so dark. I think it's the space just got real mod. It's like super duper dark. I do have my lights on, so hopefully we'll see the ground before we hit the ground. something burning over there. Well, that was horrific. That was not at all the mission I planned to go on. Actually, let's go out the the bridge hatch here. We'll go have a look. I at least want to leave a GPS marker on the crash site if we can find it. Now, I saw stuff burning off here somewhere, I thought. Might have to get the scout out here. Is that something burning? What is that? Oh, this is like a weird tree. No, that's that's something burning. What is this? That can't be all that's left of our corrupted hive friend. That's got to be the drone. It was quite an impact. I don't know. It's sad if that's all that's left because it's not very useful. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly back to the base, get a scout ship out here, and try to find the main hulk if there is one. And uh, I'll be back. I'm going to have to edit this down a lot. This was not the mission I had intended to be on at all. Alright, so we picked up our scout ship. Flying back over to the venture because that's kind of our marker for stuff. It looks like the sun is finally starting to come up too, so the search should be a little bit easier. I'm trying to decide if it's even worth getting Reclaimer over here or not. It's going to depend on if we find any major ship components or not. If it's just these little steel plates and stuff, that's not really worth my uh, effort. That's probably the chunk we we're already looking at. I can see something on fire over there, or at least I could, I thought. Man, it is dark. Dark and foggy as a Nintendo 64 game out here. Impact crater, or is that not a naturally occurring crater? All right, well I'm gonna try to find that if it exists. So I'll fly around till the sun gets a little higher. I'll fly out and just make sure that is it. I would have liked to have seen a more intact type ship. Why are we not relaying? That antenna is on. supposed to be relaying the signals to me, you stupid. 
It's like 1.8 over this way. Claimed it still was red, which usually means it has power still. So we're at 1.8 kilometers. I see nothing. I try landing. Yeah, it's just not relaying the signal. That's weird. That's very annoying. My antenna is definitely on. Why are you not relaying? Well, that's the debris, so that's got to be what it's referring to. Wow, not much of that survived. It was going at max speed. Oh god. We're at a kind of high enough altitude that my thrusters are ineffective. Yeah, I guess we were going at a high enough speed that nothing really survived. That's too bad. I would have liked to have gotten some stuff from that. The ship really did nosedive in. It's weird because uh, I don't see an impact crater exactly. There's a small one. Oh well. Anyway, I guess we should probably... Now it's relaying that. That's very strange. Any other grids? Large grid? That's probably just referring to that. Planet, planet, planet. It's annoying that it's telling me that we're on a planet. Wait, large grid? Did I see another large grid? I think this is referring to the base. Yeah. Alright, so what's on board this thing? Oh, it did have hydrogen thrusters on it, and it still crashed. That's interesting. That's interesting indeed. Is this light armor or heavy armor? Yeah, it's light armor. Ow, how did... This game has gotten a lot more sensitive about falling, I swear. It's very annoying. I, I generally like the changes they've made to the game. Like, it seems like it uh, runs a lot better. But I have weird glitches, too. Like, I can't paint blocks that exist already. I used to be able to, like, just a little while ago. Now I can't. And it seems like it's super easy to die. Thought I was gonna die there again. I'm just all paranoid. Alright, cool. Yeah, I guess there was a little bit of an impact crater. That's not much. So, I suppose the thing to do is I'm gonna scrap what I can out of this, and it's not even worth bringing Reclaimer over here for this. What is this? Medical components just lying out in the open. Um, I'm gonna scrap what I can out of this. I wonder if the, the, this ship's not going to be able to lift that part, but it can probably lift that part. And uh, get this stuff returned to base, I should be able to dump off quite a bit in here. And then, uh, I suppose that means we can take the Venture, oh, some ammo too. There's probably more debris here than I realize, like, strewn about. But, uh, I'm going to collect what I can, and then, uh, return to space, hopefully not harass any pirates this time stick I'm gonna stick close to the planet I think and try to find that gold finally so all right so we returned to space there wasn't really anything left to salvage down here but we're at an asteroid that is very close to the range of gravity of the uh, planet so I'm hoping that means nothing's gonna be able to spawn in this whole quadrant so we should be relatively safe. I haven't seen anything on the radar. So, we have silver, and I definitely need some ice so that we can refuel for the landing. Because I have not refueled this thing yet, but I've been managing my fuel pretty carefully, and it's going pretty 
pretty well. And that silver deposit, where is it exactly? It's always tricky to figure out where these things are actually located. Let's swing the bow around and probably rotate as well. Sun is not being my friend here. It's kind of in my face and also not on the thing that I'm trying to look at. All right, so the silver seems like it's probably just kind of in the middle here. This might be an asteroid that's worth just kind of taking a big old chunk out of. You know, we don't really need the iron and stuff. It's probably not too bad of a thing to grab some. Always need more. It's like everything I want is just going to be in one little fell swoop here. Well, maybe that ice. The ice is kind of off on its own, but we shall see. Let's get our landing gear out so we can hopefully lock on to something on this. It's a very irregularly shaped weird tiny asteroid, so it's challenging to find a good alignment here. I think I want to bring the nose down. Engines off, and I have no gravity generator still, so I'm gonna deal with oh god the glitchy boots. But I'm gonna head down. To, oh, this is gonna be terrible. I might want to just fly. I need to remember to put a gra gravity generator back in. When I took the old engine room apart, I uh, neglected to replace the. Uh, gravity generator and it kind of sucks at the moment not having a gravity generator let's grab some I don't really need it because I have a bottle we're going by the bay here might as well grab some hydrogen oh this is going to be such a long trip not being able to walk this is unpleasant so I'm going to get to mining hopefully no one will bother me and I'll just be able to see here. Is our antenna on? Let's see. Let's turn off the antenna. And I'm going to stop broadcasting myself just to minimize any chances of extra stuff detecting us. Oh, I've got a nice view. Oh, look at that. These are my shield, an extra shield generator that I have under construction, but it is not ready. It's glad when it is. The ship can take an okay amount of a punishment we learned from like a drone and when that extra shield generator is up it will be even better but that was actually a pretty tough drone though. Alright well we're arriving at the big donut asteroid and its small donut friend. I hope that's not all cobalt on there. It'd be nice if there was some ice. I really would like to pick up a little more ice for the journey here, but not sure that's gonna happen. I manage my speed a little carefully here. Oh, we're back in the gravity of the planet. Oh crap. Let's not turn off inertial dampers then. Iron, uranium. Kinda wish the uh ore detector worked a little better than it does. I'm gonna hit this one up and then we'll go check out a couple more because I really do need to find some ice. Always correct me that it's not a barrel roll, it is an aileron roll for some reason. I feel very strongly about that. I'm sure they're right. There's more iron, damn it. Gold is usually fairly obvious, so I'm gonna assume there's not gold. There's more silver. 
I'm just going to assume there's not anything we want on that one and make our way up, and up here, back outside of gravity again, too. So we'll go check this one out. Hopefully it has, I can see something next to it. It might be a little companion asteroid. The little companion ones are often kind of better in some ways. Just like 4% of my fuel just getting that maneuver done, but whatever. Definitely a lot more iron. And anything else? Platinum. not that useful. So, which one next? Well, we're already more or less on a course for this one, so let's just maneuver ourselves over this way. Actually, that one does have a companion, doesn't it? I can't tell. The donut, the donuts kind of suck, though. I'm not a big fan of the donuts. They're usually iron in my experience. I'm sure that's not actually true, but... Definitely do need to get some braking ions on this at some point, just so we don't have to, I mean it's nice to have the hydrogen, but it's also kind of stressful. So we end up burning an awful lot of hydrogen. seen any bad guys out here that's kind of nice all right let's start slowing her down I haven't seen any bad guys out here that's been nice there are two little companion guys for this one I might just go check those out with my jet pack though. Easier than maneuvering the ship. That's why I should, I should really get a little scout to go with this at some point too. I can just kind of close it around. Maybe a little drone. Now I see something that looks like it could be ice. That would be nice. Let's start maneuvering over towards it. Cobalt, I'll be disappointed. Could be cobalt, it doesn't look like ice actually. That's why I put all the crew quarters and stuff on these ships, even though obviously we don't need them. It just feels like uh, a little more realistic to need that stuff. Magnesium is what it was. There is some ice too. Iron. How accessible is this ice? You can see it on the surface. I'm gonna go buzz out with my jetpack, I think. How are we doing for oxygen? I might as well grab an oxygen bottle while we're at it. I had to kill myself because for some reason I was glitching through the walls, so I don't have any of my tools or anything on me. Let's grab some of those too. It's fun times. You know, I do love this game, but heaven to Betsy, it's kind of uh, glitchy from time to time. I can't just go out one of these hatches because I need to go to the cargo bay first. So, let's see. Drill. Nope. Why was I not in the box? Drill. That's not a drill. My typing is on point today. Let's grab 
Grab that. Grab that. Right, let's go have a look at those two smaller guys, if I can even find them from here. Space is confusing sometimes. Oh, there's one over there. It's probably a good idea to have a, a close-up look at the, the big one we're at, too. Is that ice? Or is that more magnesium? It looks like... Magnesium. Deuterium exists as a thing on its own. Huh. I did not know that. Looks like this is probably ice down here. It's just a bunch of iron again. I don't really need that. I did not know that the, the deuterium was a thing on its own. That's actually pretty cool. There is ice in the middle of this too, but it's not that much ice. Where's the other rock? Is that nearby? Yeah, that's nearby. I see. That's good. But still nothing particularly valuable. Let's go buzz around the big one because we couldn't look at the bottom. That'd be gold somewhere, right? Oh! Speak of the devil. Alright. No, that's nickel. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. There's deuterium here, too. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's gold. So is this deuterium just like complete? Where did it go? Mine some. No, it's just it's a uh, ore. That's weird. So it still needs to be processed probably by the deuterium processor, but at least we know that's a thing that exists. Now where is the ship? There it is. Alright, I'm not really all that sure this is worth stopping to mine. Because we have to set everything up just to get a little bit of ice. Which I don't even see where it is. Hard to know how much there actually is. If it's a good amount of ice, it's probably worth doing. Definitely could use some magnesium back home too, but we're not here for magnesium today. I think we're gonna go to a different asteroid again. I think this asteroid is useful, but not for what we need to do right now. I haven't seen any hostiles spawn in at all, which has been kind of lovely. It's going to be kind of nervous because, like, the first trip we made with that corrupted whatever mod installed, instantly there were bad guys on us. But apparently this time they're giving us a little bit of space. Alright, so which way do we want to go? Probably towards that donut over there, I guess. I'm going to have to stop at one of these and get ice at some point, but not right now. kind of got used to flying this ship again. I was thinking about putting more um, gyroscopes on. I might throw like four on, but I'm not going to go crazy because it's good enough. She's a big heavy miner. It's not meant to be fighter or something. I see people all the time uh, when I watch other YouTubers, like they put 30 or 40 gyroscopes on a ship to make it spin like it's a fighter and, you know, it's their ship, do what they want, but to me, 
It's not very realistic. Big ships would be kind of slow and difficult to manage. It's pretty when it's pretty. Bothering me having the hanger open. Where's the door? I have a group for the door. Let's do it this way. There's nothing in the hanger, so it doesn't really matter if it's open. I was using it. Why did that not close it? The one that like, was right in front of my face. Oh, it did close it. I was just impatient. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Come on, respawn. Oh, what am I gonna do? That, that's a disaster. I don't know what to do. gonna be a nightmare a living nightmare at least we're near the bridge this game in the inertial dampeners like I really wish it was not a thing it's one of the reasons to always set your course wide of the asteroid that's terrifying back at a reasonably slow speed here someday I would like to have this game actually function where you could maybe not at a hundred meters per second but you could walk around a little more stably it comes and goes but the inertial dampener thing is a real problem like when you get out of those seats you just die Smashed against the wall. I think it's because I thought I was controlling the ship and I accidentally hit the. Uh, well, I didn't accidentally, I intentionally hit the button to slow down, but. You know, the inertial dampeners, but it was wrong. Still no gold. How am I ever going to find this gold? Like, it's just... When I'm not looking for gold, it's all I see. We had to run away from that one asteroid that had gold in it. These donuts always have too much. That was close. We almost scraped the nose. They always have too much iron and not enough anything else. The ice down there. I'm going to grab that ice, I think. Because it's relatively easily accessible compared to a lot of the ice I've been seeing. Still no gold. Little asteroid, you don't have any gold on you? It can't just be ice. Useless. Alright, well we've got almost 700,000 ice on board now. I'm going to retract the drill once it completes this last rotation. Uh, let's see here. I keep meaning to automate this stuff, but I haven't. So, it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of nice because I, I do need to customize what it does from time to time anyway. So we'll have it complete that rotation, get back to its stowed position, and we'll have plenty of, uh, excuse me, plenty of ice for the next uh, leg of our journey. Now, I am only going to check out like probably one or two more asteroids because this is taking forever, but I think we're going to go to the asteroid right over that away. 
and then we'll be in a pretty good position to return to base if we want to. I think I'm probably going to actually go back to the surface rather than the, um, the space station just because I have a lot more processing ca uh, capacity still down there and I can work on some other stuff while this is all being processed. Now I would have really liked to have found a lot more silver and some gold but we'll see how it goes. And I really need to remember to put a gravity generator on this thing, because holy crap is it annoying getting around here without a gravity generator. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Do we only retract one piston? I don't know. I think we did two pistons. That's not how you spell piston. When I start recording, I just can't spell anymore. So we'll reverse that bad boy. it will be more or less in its stowed position by the time yeah it will be be back in its uh, zero degree position by the time we retract the next piston and we can just be on our merry little way it always snaps really violently if you're not docked to an asteroid or the ground or something when this happens it actually moves the ship when it snaps back into place is it doing a whole nother rotate why are you doing another rotation I told you to go back to zero degrees I thought you were almost at zero degrees. It's got to go 180 degrees around again. All right, well, let's turn off the drill head. That's more or less done. And I'm leaving the majority of this ice here because I don't want to carry too much and I want to have ice for later. Is the, you know all the state all the asteroids that are right nearby the uh, the space station and stuff are going to get picked clean pretty quick I would think for fuel. All right, so I left a GPS marker here so we can come back if we need to. And let's get our last piston retracting. Let's turn that one off. I like to leave them off so that no accidents happen when we're not using them. That always looks so cool to me, the rotate out. Oh, there's the big snap I was talking about, when it's rotating and going up at the same time. It's very, uh, majestic. I still have not seen anything spawn in. I think because we're so close to the planet, nothing's spawning in or something. There must be, like, an exclusion zone around the planet so that they don't accidentally spawn into the gravity well. Because we're still basically right on the cusp of the gravity well here. I wish that retracted a little faster, but I don't like them moving too fast because it puts undue strain on everything. So, whatever. Done. Thrusters. Now we need to get back to the bridge, which is an exciting adventure with no gravity. The ship is not laid out in the most convenient way because the main stairwell had to be moved a while ago when I put in the bigger engine so there's this enormous corridor here which I don't like but I couldn't really find out another figure out another way to fit it all inside the hull that already existed so had to make do thought about putting the mining beam laser thingy on this but I actually like having the giant piston thing because on the surface it's a lot more convenient but Maybe I'll build a space-born miner at some point. Alright, engines on. Detach. Retract. Let's find our asteroid. Which one was it? That one there. Okay. So we gotta swing her around. Really far. Sometimes I like to use the mouse for this, but I'm going to use the keyboard. It's a little more precise for swinging around. It's good for fighters and stuff, but now there is some danger that these might be on the verge of the gravity well of the planet. But as long as we clamp to one, we won't use too much fuel. Is that one split? It looks really strange. It might just be a donut when the whole thing hasn't rendered in. 
high rather than to the side, just a little farther from the planet still. And we are on our way. Actually, hold up. I didn't realize this one was as close as it is. Change course. Please have gold. The only time I've seen gold was the time we got chased off by the stupid corrupt guys. I don't think I've been to this asteroid. I don't really feel like marking every single one either, so I have to hope we haven't been here. It's a big one. Is this the one that we flew by earlier? Gold! Gold, gold, gold. We're saved. Oh god, we collided. I didn't think I was that close. Did the shields hold? Going slow enough that the shields managed to hold. That's embarrassing. I'm not gonna get my insurance accident avoidance collision stuff this month, I guess. I thought that asteroid was bigger and farther away. Space is hard to judge stuff. Should have known from the numbers that we're counting down. I don't know why that unknown signal detected thing scares me every time because it actually doesn't do that when there's an enemy spacecraft, but it kind of makes my heart skip a beat. I just want to get this gold and be left alone. No bullies coming out and giving me crap again. Oh, how are we going to lock onto this? It's a very oddly shaped asteroid. Drills can still maneuver, but also I can lock on. So I don't think too much of fuel. I think I, I've been able to use the drill in the past. Not attached to the asteroid is just a lot better to be attached I'd rather than not have to drift near here. I think if we rotate the nose down. Challenge. Let's it this way. Unusually shaped asteroids causing me trouble. Oh, 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 contact. Challenging asteroid here. Let's come out here. Go down. I'm, I'm still kind of worried about how fragile pistons can be too, so I don't really want to have this whole thing just hanging out in the wind, you know. But maybe we will just do it. Let's see. good options. If I go slowly enough, the ship should be able, even just with the ion thrusters, be able to not get pushed up. Let's see what happens. I've never really drilled like this, I don't think. And we'll put her down to like 6.66. I usually like to go in thirds on these. Turn on. Reverse. Let's see 
what she does. We can flatten it out. Maybe we can make a spot. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's pushing the ship up. Maybe it's not. It's definitely moving the ship a bit, but it might be manageable. It's going to get stuck on that piece of rock there, though. I need to be careful here, because I could easily burn off those uh, drills here, I think, too. So let's see if we can just, like, level this. Kind of complicated. I'm not after a ridiculous amount of gold here, so I just get to a point that we get a good amount, I'll be happy. I mean, I mean obviously I'd rather get more just so we don't have to do this again, but the other problem with the mining beam, well, I think it uses like a gigawatt of power and I only have a one gigawatt reactor on this thing. Supplement the power somehow. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep at this, so I'll be back if something terrible happens. But I think it's gonna go okay. Well, that's worked relatively well. The ship is very slowly rotating around as it gets pushed by the, you know, in the opposite direction of the pistons. But we've got like 325,000 gold, so I'm going to call that good, I think. I left a marker here, so if we need more gold, we know exactly where to go. There's still plenty left. It's like a fairly huge deposit. So I am going... Look at that. That's still... You can see where the ship's getting rotated. All the rocks like being left behind. Um, but I'm going to leave this as it is, I think, and we are going to return back home. So I just need to deal with stowing all this stuff, and I've flown this back enough times now that I think we all know it's going to make it unless I make a terrible mistake so I will most likely be with you back on the planet alright we're approaching for our landing things look pretty straightforward here good amount of fuel I'm not sure how much ice I have because I can't really check that right now but it seems like I probably still have some ice or I've only just gone through ice because the hydrogen has barely started going down had no problem stopping this is only about two million more kilograms is about the safe landing limit from space for this thing in my experience so pretty far away from that still definitely see the weight going down so I guess it is still burning down some of the uh, ice we have on board so pretty well aligned left and right the front in here first Our landing gear are down. Just try to scooch her in. And engines off. Whew. Well, we made it. So I can go get all this stuff processed. We have to hit all the connectors and stuff because things that still don't have um, buttons and such, as I was saying. So good to go. 
shut down. I should shut down the reactor too. Reactor. Yeah, that is battle damage. It's fixing. Uh, ore detector. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. So we got gold. We did not get as much silver as I would like, but hopefully it'll be enough. We can get some work done finish up that ship at some point. It's got a lot of work left to do. Um, that's going to be kind of like a, I don't even know what you call that part, but um, the, we have a bridge to put on, living quarters, some support stuff, shield generator. It's definitely going to need at least one large shield generator. I might put two on if I can find room, because um, one thing I learned from taking this thing into put the light combat that we did is that uh, the hull is just not going to hold up. We need shields especially against some of these corrupted things. Like, if we were against just vanilla enemies, you could probably get by without it, but uh, with the higher-end enemies like that, the hive ship, I definitely want to make sure we have uh, reasonable survivability time and all that stuff. So, anyway, I will catch you guys next time. I missed my floor. Thanks for watching.